hello and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to tell you how to submit a web form to ircc so you might need to submit a web form for various reasons like you need to change your personal details like uh, your name address or your email address uh, you might have forgot to attach a document and you need to provide that to ircc so you can use the web form uh, also, you can use web form uh, if your application has uh, exceeded the normal processing times and you need to get an update on your application. So these are just few examples. You can use a web form for various other reasons as well. So without further delay, let's get into the process of submitting a web form. First of all, uh, when you go to Google, uh, search IRCC web form and then uh, click on the very first link ircc web form contact us online after you have opened it uh, you get various options like update or ask about your application report a technical problem get help with your passport application ask about a programmer service or give them the feedback so we will go with update or ask about your applications since most of you would need to uh, submit a web form to update or ask about your application only. So let's go with that. Then you get many other options like check your application status, change or update your contact information, add change or cancel a representative. Or if you forgot to attach a document, you can attach a document. Uh, you can ask for urgent processing of your PR card, withdraw or cancel your application, or you might need to schedule or change the date or time of your any appointment with IRCC interview or test. If any of these doesn't apply, then you can select other and provide the required details. For the purpose of this video, we, uh, we are going with add a document to your application. For example, I submitted my application through GC key and forgot to attach any document. So uh, what I can do is I can submit a web form to IRCC and attach that document and provide the explanation why I am submitting this document. So let's go with that, add a document to your application. So if you have applied yourself, you will select I am the principal applicant and then continue to form. So just uh, fill all these details. Uh, tell us about the principal applicant, your first name, also known as given name. So in case of IRCC forms, if we don't have a, a last name or family name, then we have to fill all of our first name in the last name field and leave the first name blank. So if that's the case, then you have to uh, check the, check this box and say there is no first name and fill all your name here. After that, your email address, the email address that you have used with the application. So just fill that email address then you have to confirm your email address, then date of birth, let's say any hypothetical date. So. Then your country or territory of birth, so whatever is written on your passport. And your application number, so you might get the application number in any letter that you have received from IRCC or in your GC key account from where you have applied. So just fill that application number here. and then what did you apply for so for example i applied for work permit so i'll select temporary residence and what application did did you submit work permit 
and then fill the details like your UCI number which is on your study permit work permit or on your application also it shows in the JC key just fill that 8 to 10 digit number then what country or territory were you living in when you submitted your application so if you applied within Canada then select Canada if it was from any other country then select that country accordingly what nationality is listed on the passport you used to apply so wherever your passport is issued select that and then the details of your passport your passport number uh, country of uh, issue and how did you submit your application so if it was online application select online if it was on papers or at visa application center select accordingly then uh, tell IRCC about your request so did did they ask you to add the document since it's the case where you forgot the document so select the option that no I want to add the document please explain in the text below so here you have uh, the limit of 1500 characters uh, if you can explain your issue in 1500 characters then it's fine if not then please uh, add a separate letter explaining uh, the complete situation after that uh, from here you can choose a file and add the document that you want to and then click on the consent review your request when you go to review your request you can see all the all the details that you have filled in the form uh, if you confirm those are correct then you can go further and submit the form to IRCC so that's how you submit the a web form to IRCC. I hope this video has made it clear and easier for you. If you like this video so far, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you ever need assistance with any of your application, please feel free to reach us. We would be happy to help.